Arian is the black stallion from Greece myth, known to be swift of foot, brave, and whom certain poets claimed could even speak. The parentage of Arian changes from one story to the next, but it is mostly accepted he was born from a union between Poseidon and Demeter. While Demeter was looking for her daughter, Poseidon was enraptured by her beauty and took pursuit. She transformed herself into a horse to shake off the persistent god and hid in a field. But Poseidon recognized her and in turn transformed himself into a stallion. He of course had his way with her and from that Arian was born. Another story says instead it was Gaia who gave birth to Arian with Poseidon still being the father. Sort of makes sense, seeing as the horse is considered to be as fast on land as he is on the water. And yet another story instead says it was a harpy and the west wind which brought about the birth of the black horse. My favourite though is where he was created in the contest between Minerva and Poseidon, where each god had to create something useful for the human race. Minerva created the olive and Poseidon created the horse, or in this case Arian, which makes Arian the lord of all horses, like Shadowfax. In description, he is either black, gold or gold with a black mane, but it is his speed which makes him legendary. As the quote goes, there is none who could sprint to make it up, nor close you nor pass you, not of the man behind you were driving the great Arian, the swift horse of Adrastus, whose birth is from the immortals. And of course, he is endowed with speech. Arian is hard to tame, viciously so, and it's only with his last owner that he truly calms down. His first rider is Heracles, who uses Arian's speed, bravery and intelligence to help take the city of Elis. Participating in this war is Adrastus, who is yearning to go back to his home Argos. After they win the battle, Heracles gives the horse to him, and with the speed of Arian, Adrastus makes it home in almost no time at all. For some time, the horse lives with Adrastus, who teaches his son-in-law, Polynices, to ride and care for him. Not too tight with the rain, but neither too light. You must show ownership, but never bully Arian, lest he throws you. It is during this time Arian calms and truly bonds with Adrastus. Adrastus ends up leading six warriors to take Thebes in the Seven against Thebes legend. But Amphiarius, the old king of Argos, warns him that in the battle only he, Adrastus, will make it out alive. In response, he gives Arian to Polynices to keep him safe. But in the fight, Arian realizes Adrastus is in trouble. He rears so high, he pulls up the other horses in the chariot and quickly breaks loose, running to find and ultimately save Adrastus from death. And that is sadly where this story ends. There is no other mention of this great horse, nor another epic, which is tragic. I rather think there's a lot more that could have been said about him. But I guess we should be happy we have anything at all. Thanks for watching, guys.